It is typically assumed that if you lose one of your senses, another sense will elevate its ability to make up the difference. Unfortunately, that is not completely true when it comes to hearing impairment. A new study showed that children with hearing impairments not only face difficulties in learning new words and language skills, they also experience issues with their basic cognitive functions such as visual learning. In this study, done by researchers at Ohio State University, infants were shown different objects on the screen to test their visual processing. Infants with no hearing problems looked at the screen for a short period of time, eventually losing interest and looking away. Researchers called this behavior habituation. When infants with hearing impairments were shown the same images of the objects, they took longer to habituate the objects and look away. According to the researchers, these results showed that differences in cognitive development in deaf babies begin in infancy. But that doesn't necessarily conclude that deaf children are learning at a slower pace than hearing children. As deaf children rely more on their visual processing, they pay more attention to the world around them, and as a result, they might actually be processing more about each object. Further studies are needed to examine why deaf children have visual differences compared to hearing children so that each child is taught in a way that works best for them and leads to healthy development. It's important that this research be done, because hearing impairment is a very common problem. In fact, hearing impairment is the third most common chronic health condition affecting 360 million people worldwide. Given that it's so common, it's important to have a basic understanding of how hearing works in the first place. Our ears contain thousands of tiny hair cells. These hair cells detect sound waves and then send this information to the brain. Once damaged, these inner hair cells do not repair, which results in permanent hearing loss, also known as sensory neural hearing loss. This type of hearing loss affects up to 3 out of every 1,000 children. Scientists are now trying to regrow inner hair cells using stem cells, which can potentially reverse hearing loss in patients. Scientists have discovered the presence of stem cells in the inner ears of mice, chicks, and zebrafish. Under the right conditions, these stem cells can develop into cells that are remarkably similar to hair cells. The question is, can we transfer this amazing ability to humans? Researchers at Stanford Medicine are working to develop a biological method to repair the cochlea and treat hearing loss. Their approach involves the surgical placement of stem cells within the cochlea, which then develop and function as hair cells. In their laboratory, they have mimicked the formation of embryonic mouse ears to create stem cells that look and act like hair cells. If millions of hair cells could be produced in the ear, this research could restore normal hearing to people afflicted by hearing loss. Although it is exciting, a lot more research must be done to address the issues presented by stem cells. Scientists must find a way to prompt stem cells to differentiate in the ear without allowing them to die or grow uncontrollably. So this solution isn't perfect yet, but the future looks bright for stem cell research and hearing loss. <laughs>